Hello and welcome to Encrypted Inc. I'm your host, Dan, Encrypted Decrypting ASX and Crypto to, uh, for you. Shout outs to Perth Crypto Crew and Perth Crypto Group. If you want to know more about crypto, uh, please join both of these Facebook groups. The Perth Crypto Crew has a Discord. There's a link to that on their Facebook group. And also, Let's Talk Crypto Meetup um, is this Wednesday for people in Perth. Uh, at Grand Bar and Bistro at 6 p.m. Thank you for all your support. I currently have 41 subscribers. Uh, once I hit 50 subscribers, I'll be giving away an encrypted ink T-shirt. Uh, just to make sure I have my mouse this time. Great. Didn't happen last time I started recording. I've got it now. Okay. Um, so just about uh, my show, we're going to go through the crypto and ASEX market update. I'll also be doing a uh, movers for both crypto and ASX and also news um, uh, article one on each for crypto and ASX. Uh, so let's get started. Um, let's start with uh, Wall Street, which um, has obviously been a weekend over in the States, but is due to open at 9.30 tonight. Um, for the start of their week. It's currently 8.34 p.m. here in Perth, uh, Western Australia. So the S&P 500 was 0.75% in the green, the NASDAQ is 0.63% in the green, and the Dow Jones closed at 0.09% in the green. This was the last day of the week um, in the States. Now, uh, our market in the ASX was 0.26% uh, in the green uh, today and the ordinary 0.20% uh, in the green. Uh, as for the crypto market, the crypto market, we can see here uh, Bitcoin currently what it's done now. We all, I've also I've got Dow Jones here. I'm not too sure why. I must have clicked on that by accident. I'll just bring up. Uh, where am I? Ethereum. If that loads. Yep. Sorry about this. Didn't realize. Okay, here we go. So I just want to um, give maybe people that are new to the crypto market a bit of an update of what's happened. Um, the big thing to take from this is BTC, um, and I'm not going to do it with the um, measuring tool on my um, on my uh, chart here, but I've done it earlier. So BTC, uh, since the 30th of September, has gained 47.36%. ETH has gained 31.09% gain over the same period, um, approximately. It's based upon using a ruler within the chart. So it's not 100% perfect, but it is very close. Now, what we've seen here is, especially with Bitcoin, um, as we started to rise up through um, that run that we've had since the 30th of September, it's starting to sort of taper off a little bit here. Now, it's tested a level um, at 84,144 Australian dollars um, twice. Um, and I use Australian dollars because I'm Australian, but I will use US dollars because everyone seems to... <laughs> Uh, like the uh, USD um, way of thinking of things. So, okay, that's 62538 US dollars. Um, so I guess the big question is in, in what I do in TA is are we going to break this level um, or are we simply entering another consolidation period within a channel? Um, now, my feeling is, is that either we're going to enter in another channel within here from that level there to the median, to the high there, and maybe bounce around in that for a little while? Or are we going to break through that level and continue up, um, you know, potentially a little bit further on the upside? So watch that space. Uh, I would have liked to have done this when the US market, uh, uh, Wall Street, has opened, but um, that will be happening in the future with my future videos, and I'll be going live with that when Wall Street opens. Um, but for today, we've just got it before and, um, yeah, slightly delayed. But I will be having live streams in the future on the Wall Street Open. Uh, so that's interesting, uh, I guess, market update regarding Bitcoin and Ethereum. As I said, Ethereum is running pretty similar to Bitcoin at the moment. Um, so, yeah, 
Uh, that's the market update for ASX and crypto. If we're just looking at some movers, one that's really interests me actually was Stacks. Um, so where are we here in the last 24 hours? Stacks has had a 24.0% gain in the last 24 hours. This is using uh, CoinGecko. So if you want to know more about each individual crypto, please go on to CoinGecko.com, do your research and have a look around. Click on some of the cryptos there and you can find information about them all. So what is Stacks? Uh, Stacks is a... Uh, well, it's basically bringing apps and smart contracts to Bitcoin. Interesting space, if you ask me, not financial advice. Uh, that's just what I have to say on that. All right. Um, some news regarding the crypto market as such is uh, this was by N uh, CNBC. Bitcoin futures EFT approval likely to be late until 2022, market analysis says. I'll just highlight a few points in here. More of more than a dozen firms are still waiting to hear whether their respective filings for Bitcoin-based ETFs will progress to the public markets. Others, including Van Eck, Invest Co, Amplify ETF, and Global X, have launched tan tan I think it's tangible or tangential products focused on blockchain infrastructure or the broader crypto economy. Van Heck, ProShares, Invesco, Valkyrie and Galaxy Digital have all filed for Bitcoin futures. The first four could be approved, denied or have their decisions delayed by mid to late October. Galaxy's digital fate will be revealed by November 1. Uh, I've got another point. Robinhood, which offers crypto trading, falls under the SEC jurisdiction because it is registered as a broker dealer. Van Sex said the SEC may also have achieved de facto regulatory control over Coinbase, which stopped offering lending products several weeks ago at the uh, commission's request, he said. They clearly have some control over players in the underlying Bitcoin market, so maybe that increased the chances from zero, but I have no idea what they are, he said. In addition to the soft October 25 approval deadline, which is in a few days now for Van X Bitcoin Futures EFT filing, the SEC has a hard November 14 deadline to approve or deny Van X approval for an NFT based on physical Bitcoin. Now, I'm not going to get too much onto my two cents regarding this, but if you want to know more about what an EF, uh, ETF and a futures market is about, um, my advice would be go into Investopedia and have a look at it yourself. Um, what I can gather from this is that... Um, you know, companies that are not particularly crypto involved are now getting into the uh, futures markets within crypto now. Is this a good thing for crypto? I think it can go either way. Um, it's going to be an interesting one to see it pan out. So I guess just watch that space. All right. Um, now let's just go into the ASX. Um, I just want to highlight a mover in the A6 which caught my attention. Um, where is it here? It is this one here. So this is, if the chart comes up, AGY. Oh, it's going to delay. That's okay. 18.60% uh, increase uh, within Monday today. It's an uh, ASX listed company. What is it? I'm just going to go briefly into that. Agarossi Minerals, Agarossi Minerals Limited is an Australian company with a current 77.5% and ultimate, well, 90% interest in the Rincon Lithium Project in Salta Province, Argentina, and 100% interest in the Tonofar Lithium Project in Nevada, USA. That's all I'm going to say about that. Some more ASX news. As you may be aware, the bidding with 
uh, ASX companies in the mergers and acquisitions, I guess, um, sector or market within the ASX is just going gangbusters. This one was a very interesting one that I just thought I'd highlight. Synex Energy Investors want to uh, want more bump out of POSCO. So some highlighted points here. Synex Energy is pulling out all the moves to get money out of Korean steel maker POSCO International. So we see Synex Energy shareholders and and Eve, uh, uh, shareholders and even sell side analysts to pick up some of the slack, calling for more. Cynics Energy shares closed at 4.39% on Monday. It's a clear far, uh, sign fast money funds ex expect POSCO to firm up on its offer and increase at the $4.40 a share bid valued at $845 million. Here's a little bit historical coal, seam, gas transaction multiples if you want to have a look at that. I'll put links into my uh, videos in the description if you want to uh, read more about this. Unfortunately, Financial Review won't allow you to view it unless you have a subscription, but I'll put it in there if you want to subscribe to the Financial Review. Um, so that's just a bit on Cinex. So, I mean, you've got to look, what is Cinex then? Cinex, our company, Cinex is an establishing growing producer of natural gas. We are providing gas for the industry that supports local communities, manufacturing jobs, and a cleaner energy future. If you want to know why there's a movement in natural gas, see my previous video. I'll just put it briefly and simply to you. Natural gas, if you didn't know, can be converted to hydrogen. It's not a clean way of doing it, but it can be done. I'll just leave it at that. All right, um, and this is just another article regarding LNG again. As LNG resources uh, resources store prices are set to rise until 2025, liquefied natural gas prices are going through the roof these days, and a new year is not to ex uh, ex uh, not expected to bring much price relief. I think that's all I had highlighted in this article by Forbes. I'll put a link to this article in my description. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, my name is Dan Encrypted. This is my YouTube channel, uh, Encrypted Inc. You can find me on Facebook at Dan Encrypted. You can find me on Instagram at Dan Encrypted. You can find me on Twitter at Dan the Encrypted Man. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all next time. Have a good night and day. Ciao.